a white feather drifting in the wind, and then it slowly descended from the sky to Gump's feet. Gump picked it up and looked at it. Then he put it in his suitcase. Then he ate his own chocolate and said the classic line, life is like chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Gump was born with a disabled right leg. He needed a foot brace to live. And when he took the entrance exam, he was told he had an IQ of 75, not enough to pass. He had to go to a special school in order to prevent Gump from going to a special school. Her mother kept talking to the school. At a family gathering, Gump danced with a foot brace. Then he was imitated by someone, but he became an accidental star. He became a superstar. One day at school, Gump boarded the school bus, but no one on the bus would let him sit next to him. He didn't know what to do. Then suddenly a sweet voice appeared and asked him to sit next to her. And that's how Gump met his only friend. From that moment on, they were inseparable. They became irreplaceable to each other. One day when they were out on the town, two hooligans chased Gump in a car. In order not to be caught by the bad guys, Gump quickly ran forward. But while running, Gump accidentally ran into a football practice field. The coaches on the field were shocked to see such a fast man. They were shocked. And because he was so fast, Gump was able to go to college. When he was in college, on the football field, Gump was quietly watching his teammates play. Suddenly, his teammates passed him the ball, and he told him to run. Gump ran as hard as he could. No one on the field could catch up with him. Watching him run so fast, the coach was so happy. Later, Gump made the All-American team. At the celebration dinner, Gump drank 15 bottles of Coke, and he got an audience with the president. After five years on the football team, Gump graduated from college. At the graduation ceremony, an officer delivered a draft prospectus, and that's how Gump got his start in the military. On the bus to training camp, just like when he was a kid, no one wanted to sit with him. Again, finally, a boy invited him to sit next to him, and that's how Gump met his most cherished friend. Trained in the army, Gump assembled his weapon quickly. Gump's speed was so fast that he scared the instructors. For this, he broke the army's assembly speed. When it was time for vacation, Gump went to see Jenny perform at a performance hall. He saw a man insulting her with money. Gump saw Jenny being bullied. He ran right over to her and dragged the man away. Afterwards, Jenny still complained about Gump's behavior. Gump told Jenny he was going to fight. Jenny told him, if there's any trouble, run away from it. Soon the battlefield was upon us. Gump made a quick retreat. He's finally out of the line of fire turned around and realized no one was following him. So he turned back, and in searching for his friends, he found a fallen comrade. So he carried his wounded comrades on his back, he carried them all to the safe zone. Finally, he found his friend. But his friend was seriously injured. But Gump managed to bring him back to the safe zone at the end of the air raid. But his friend didn't breathe after he said he wanted to go home in Gump's arms. Since then, Gump lost his most important friend. Forrest Gump became a delegate back from the Vietnam War. He stood at the podium and spoke. He told the people about the brutality of the war. Then a familiar voice rang out. Jenny came slowly from the pool. They embraced in front of thousands of people. The onlookers cheered and applauded. But it wasn't long before they were together. Jenny leaned out of the car window to say goodbye to Forrest Gump. And that's how she disappeared from Forrest Gump's sight once again. After he retired, Gump bought a fishing boat. To start his own shrimping business, he named it the Jenny, because it was the most beautiful name he could think of. Soon the Jenny was making full catches every time she went out. Forrest Gump became a millionaire, and he was quickly making headlines in the financial press, and the lieutenant thanked Gump. He thanked him for giving the lieutenant a reason to live. After that, the lieutenant jumped into the sea, swimming freely in the sea. He made peace with his stubborn self. One day, there was a report on TV that Gump's mother was in poor health. Gump ran home without stopping. Seeing his haggard mother, Gump was very sad, but her mother told Gump, life is like chocolate, and encouraged him to experience his life with all his heart. Forrest Gump always looked away from the house, expecting a figure to appear. One day while Forrest Gump was mowing the lawn, Jenny finally came back. Gump rushed to embrace her. But the next morning, 
Jenny had quietly left again. The things she gave her were left behind. Gump sat by the window. He couldn't figure out why Jenny just wouldn't stay with him. The next day he put on his red hat and ran. After three years of running, Forrest Gump finally understood his mother's words. Let go of the past to live in the present. So he stopped and turned around and went home. Upon returning home, Gump received a letter from Jenny. Happily, Jenny had given him a son. Jenny told Gump she had a terminal illness. Shortly afterward, Janie was gone. Gump buried Jenny under the tree where they belonged. One day while walking his son to school, Gump saw his favorite book. He opened it. The sealed feather fell out. And then the school bus came. Gump put away his bag and watched his son get on the bus. Then he sat quietly and thought. And the feather rose up in the wind. And it flew higher and higher.